Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to Maximum Football 2019 here in John Jake Gaming's All Created Teams Division 3 Dynasty. And we are once again covering the game of the week here in the Midwest Conference. Now, remember, go check out his channel. This dynasty will go deeper on his channel. We will be covering one conference here on mine, the Midwest Conference. And let's just flash back to week number one. The Co Center College Colonels took on the North Central Cardinals. And look at the North Central Cardinals. They are number two in the nation Bruh. after upsetting the number three team in the Colonels last week. I mean, that's an 100 spot jump for the North Central Cardinals. I'm all on the bag wagon. Bruh. And remember, they are really an underdog. I mean, they are truly an underdog. Remember, they came into this season ranked under 100 in the nation. I mean, they had zero respect. So they are they will be taking on Wartburg College, and they are located in Waverly, Iowa. So this is going to be a pretty good game as now everybody is gunning for North Central. They were the underdog before, but now every team that goes up against them is the underdog. So let's check in on the action. Here is Wartburg out on offense, but they cannot do anything. This North Central defense is shutting them down early. So here is Seaford on the quarterback run, but he is going to slide for a six-yard carry here in the first quarter. So Seifert did have a pretty good game throwing the ball. He, I believe he threw for four touchdowns in week one. Here's a handoff to his running back up the middle, and he is picking up a first down there. That's about a seven-yard carry here as North Central is trying to kind of show a little bit of balance here. Here is Seifert throwing out to the right side. He's got his uh, receiver out of the backfield. That is going to be Bernie, but he's not picking up a gain of anything as I don't know – if they're going for the short passes this game, but the long passes, remember, and the deep passes did work pretty well in the first week. As here is Seaford on the quarterback sneak right up the middle. And you don't see that every day. That is a six-yard carry. So here is Seaford from the shotgun this time. He claps for the snap, and here he is throwing down the left sideline. It is Whittle, and he's picking up a nice gain of about 17 yards on that one as they move the ball past the 50-yard line. Lined up at about the 44-yard line. Deep shot. Seifert, he's got no, and he's wide open for the touchdown pass. And North Central is on the board for the first time in this game. And they take the 7-0 lead here at home. So here is Warper back on an offense, giving it off to Houston, and he is picking up only a gain of five. But he does make it to a third and two. That says Cutler, not Jay Cutler, and he is sneaking through the middle, and that is a gain of about four yards. So Cutler throws down the left side, and he's got his man. That is Milo for about 16 yards and a first down as they get the ball to about the 48-yard line, and they move the chains. So here's Wartburg coming out in five wide. Look at the quarterback draw right up the middle, Cutler. He is more of a dual threat guy. He can run the ball as well. So North Central has got to be on their toes. Here's Kotler from the shotgun throw across the middle. He's got a man. That's Hope across the middle. And take a look. There is a flag on the play, and it is roughing the passer. And they will accept that extra 15 yards. So here is Wartburg now. A fullback in the backfield. They're going to wind up, throw the ball deep. It's a wide open man, Spotwood. And that is a touchdown. And now Wartburg does tie this game up at seven apiece as can North Central answer that touchdown pass from Wartburg. So here comes our man Seifert back on the field. He's not able to do anything. So now here comes Wartburg back out on the field. Here is Houston getting this toss play out to left side. And that is about a gain of eight. So Wartburg now in the shotgun, changing the play up this time. Looks like an H back in the backfield, handing the ball off to Houston. He barely picks up the first down on that one, and that's going to be about a gain of two, and they move the chains. So now out to start the second quarter. Here's Kotler, throw across the middle. He's got Preston, and he's getting past the 50-yard line on that catch, 
And that is going to be a first down catch and a first down. So now at about the 45-yard line, here is Kotler under center this time in the wing tee. Throw out to the right side. That's Preston. Only a gain of one as North Central plays good defense on that one, and they do get the punt. So here is Darren A, who had a huge game in the first week, and he picks up a gain of 12, and that is enough for the first down. So here is Seifer this time drawing up the middle. He's got a gain of six as he slides down as he moves the ball closer to the 50-yard line. So after losing a couple of yards on a second down, here is Seifert on a third and six throw deep down the middle of the field, and it's almost picked off, drop by Wartburg, and that is a sure pick in the defense's hands as they do force the punt. So now here's oh Wartburg now God. inside their five-yard line. Here's Cutler, and he breaks loose, and he is going to take off. And North Central is not going to catch him. He's taking it all the way. Number seven, Kotler for the touchdown run. And Kotler on the road has taken the lead as who saw this coming. We saw an upset in week number one, but here is another mistake. And look at this, Warburg falls on it for the touchdown, 21 to seven. And North Central makes a mistake. As we saw this last week, the Colonel Central College Colonels, Center College Colonels, that? actually came out and did the exact same thing last week. But here, North Central comes out on defense, and it's going to be an interception. That's Omi, who breaks a tackle, breaks another one, and he's going to fall forward to about the 30-yard line as now North Central is in field goal range as now. Let's see what they can do here back out on offense with great field position. Look at this formation. I've never seen this. Here's Wartburg out on defense. I'm not sure they know how to defend this. Here's a little pistol, I think. Here's Seifert drawing the uh, quarterback draw up the middle, and he's picking up about a gain of seven. So they do end up calling a timeout, kind of stopping the clock, get, figuring out what they want to do on offense. Here is Seifert, five wide receivers out on the field. He's going to draw up the middle once again, and he's picking up a gain of three. As now gotcha, North Central bitch. kind of slowing the game down, trying to maybe limit the possessions of Wartburg, but they send the pressure, and they are going to get to Seifert as we'll see what they do. Are they going to kick the field goal? And it looks like they call a timeout. They get over a little bit, and no, they're going to go for it. Fourth and 15. Let's see what Seifert can do. Here he is in the pocket. Throw to the end zone. And it's going to be tipped. So they are going to turn the ball over. Maybe leaving some points on the board. As now it is still 21-7. to So they do get the ball back. Here's North Central. A deep shot down the left sideline. It's DeRene who's going to break a tackle. Break two while you're at it. And that is a touchdown here for DeRene. And he's going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. As now we move into halftime, 21-14. to Can North Central crawl back in this game? Here is Reno with the carry up the middle. He's picking up a gain of nine. And that is almost going to be a first down. So now a couple plays later here. Here's Warburg, third and six. Audibling at the line is Kotler. He likes to run the ball. Remember he had that big long run in the first half. And that is only a gain of four as he can't do anything there. And they're going to have to punt the ball away. So now they do get the ball back here in the middle of the third quarter. Here is a nice throw to the left side. And that is a catch by their tight end. And that is a first down. So here's Kyler under center this time. Is he going to hand it off? No, he's going to stay in the pocket, throw the ball to the left side. And it's almost intercepted. As now they get it to a fourth and 13, maybe some wasted possessions here by Wartburg as they have to keep the ball out of North Central's hand. We've seen what they can do last week. They are dangerous when they get the ball. Here is Seifer, deep throw down the left sideline on the next drive, and there is Whittle, and he's catching the ball on the sideline and a first down. So Seifer now, three running backs behind him. He's going to drop back to pass, though. We were used to seeing him run out of these, and there is Direne. And he's picking up about a gain of five. And they eventually do not get the first down. And they punt the ball away to Wartburg. 
So here's Warburg on the next drive. Here's a handoff this time, Houston. And he's picking up a first down carry on that one. So now first and 10, here's Kotler under center. He's gonna draw right up the middle. And man, we've seen a lot of these quarterback draws. I don't know what's going on with these offenses, but it's been working so far. I mean, they've been getting positive yardage. So here's Kotler this time. Two backs to the backfield from the shotgun. He's gonna draw it up the middle. He picks up the first down. And like I said, that's just been a common theme here. They just like to run the ball with the quarterback. I don't know if they think they have Cam Newton back there or what, but it's been working. So here's that funky formation once again. Here is Kotler from the shotgun. He's going to hand it off to Houston, who's got an open hole up the middle. That is going to be a gain of about eight as we are winding down the third quarter here on a second and two. Kotler under center this time. He's going to take it off and run and spin forward for a first down, and that's about a two-yard gain if maybe a little three or four more yards, and that is a first down. So now at about the 45-yard line, man, they got to preserve this lead. Try to run the ball. Here's a pitch play out to the right side, and look at Houston. He gets lit up on that one, and that is a loss of two. So now they get it to a second and 15. Here's a deep shot down the right sideline. They've got hope, and he's wide open. That is a touchdown here for the away team in this game and wow it is a two score lead it's not looking good for number two north central gotcha, bitch. so now down by two scores can north central come back but here is seaford he's facing some pressure getting smacked in the pocket and that is about a loss of about six yards seven yards on that one so now third and 14 deep shot and he's got july who's gonna take off and he is not going to be caught that is a touchdown for Seifert another passing touchdown he has been hot to start this season as they now cut it back down to one uh, one touchdown lead but look at this they are being greedy lining to go up go for it here for two points making it a six point game should they do it I don't know but they're going for it deep shot down the right side and that is gonna be incomplete that was a stupid throw as now they are down by eight points. As I don't know what that coaching staff was thinking on the North Central sideline. But here's a pitch play out to the left side and take a look. That is actually a botched pitch play. And look at this. Now North Central gets two points on the board, but now it's 22 to 28. That may have been a mistake as now it is down to six points. You now don't force North Central to go for two if they get the ball back and a touchdown. So here is Reno getting the carry up the middle. He's picking up about a gain of three, but they do eventually move the chains. So the smart thing here to do would be to keep it on the ground. Can Wartburg do anything? Handoff to the right side. Houston, he's fighting forward for a first down, and they are going to move the chains. So now nine minutes left here in the fourth quarter at about the 47-yard line. Here's that one formation again. Kotler is going to just take it up the middle, and that is a gain of 11. So now in the wing T formation, Kotler is going to throw deep down the left sideline, and it's going to be dropped. Wow. I mean, a wide-open catch is now they get it to a first and 10 and they get the ball back, but that was a huge wasted opportunity on that one. So North Central has to continue to play defense here in this game as Wartburg keeps getting the ball back after North Central fails to score. Deep shot down the right side, and that is to nobody, and that makes it a fourth and 18. And now North Central finally has an opportunity. Five minutes left here in this game. Seifert backing onto the field. Deep shot. He's got a man. And wide open is Noel. He's going to take it in. And that is going to be a touchdown. And maybe the Dacker here in this game in North Central, the number two team in the nation, now has an opportunity to take the lead. But here they go for two. What a gutsy call. They hand it off instead of kicking the field goal, making it a two-point game. And what do you know? They end up going on to win this game. They are 2-0 oh, here to start this season 
wow, what a gutsy call at the end of that game. They actually have a great game throwing the ball once again, 15 for 33, and they come away with the victory even though the Knights had more yards. So that is going to wrap up week two. The North Central Cardinals are on a little bit of a winning streak after jumping 100 spots. I think they might have to patch that a little bit. There's no reason they should jump up 100 spots after a win, but that's how it is. So let's check out the next week and see what they do if they do end up being the game of the week here in the Midwest Conference, but they do come away with the victory 2-0. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned for next episode. Let's get it. Make sure to check out John Jake Games Gaming's channel. Let's get it. Let's go.